change, changes in the world do happen and why not to be uh, a factor of that change too instead of just saying, okay, um, the script is written so I don't need to do anything, I just need to go inwards and uh, forgive and uh, see that this is just uh, something I, I have made. So why not to be a factor of, of uh, change here? Yeah, I think the, the feeling intuitively for a lot of people is is to bring up, a, a lot of people would say if you interviewed them on the street, I want to be a positive factor in the world, I want to bring about positive changes, you know, and bring the world in a, in a better way. It's like uh, Michael Jackson's song, Heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and for the whole human race. You, at some level, you you see that there's a sense of helpfulness or altruism that, that that wants to be, you might say, an agent of healing, still believing that the world can be changed. You know, that is an assumption that the world changes. Um, it certainly seems that way. I've even seen billboards that say the only thing that's certain is change. <laughs> you know, it, it's crazy, but but actually that's. If you follow out the world's thinking, that's the kind of billboard you get. So, you were talking a bit about, I'll say, the golden rule. And do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Jesus even addresses the golden rule in the Course. And he says that the golden rule applies, but it's still dependent on, on your perception of yourself and others. In other words, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Uh, a bully, you know, could twist that around if his perception was he liked seeing others yeah, sad uh, and watch. going, okay, do unto others. Why well, I like seeing them sad through my bullying, <laughs> so I think I'm an advocate of bullying, you know, a, a bully might say. It's you know, fun. Yeah. Right, if it's fun and this and this. But it depends on the right perception, Jesus says. Mm -hmm. But then we're back to that right perception thing, like how do we heal perception but by questioning our beliefs and looking at our thoughts. So, already what Ludwig has said is there was some emotions, intense emotions going on and he was perceiving the attack going on between the characters. Well, we perceive attack in the world because we still believe attack is possible. And really what Jesus is showing us ultimately is that attack is impossible. That's why he could be defenseless. He could say from the cross, you know, forgive them for they know not what they do. He wasn't in any way saying that what they were doing was real. But he was saying that he had reached a point of peace and forgiveness and transcendence. <laughs> so Paula, remember when you first came in, we went around the room last night yeah. and you said, I, I'm happy, I'm like, Light-hearted and this and this, and occasionally I have a flash of anger that is here and it's gone. And you said at the very end, and I think it has something to do with this identity thing. So you, there was it. You put the prayer right out, and and then all of these discussions and what Hakim is saying and everything is part of the spirit coming in with the answer. Now, can you digest it or accept it? Well. You know, that's what this acceptance of atonement principle you're talking about, it seems to take practice. And we're here to practice. That's all we're doing is we're practicing. Even in the course at the beginning of the workbook lessons, he says, uh, he says, some of these ideas you may not believe. Some of these ideas, he's talking about his ideas in the workbook, you may actively resist. This does not matter. Just use them. Isn't it wonderful to have a workbook where you're told that you may not accept the lessons, and you may even actively resist the lessons, but it doesn't matter, just use them. And by using them, he will show you uh, of their truth. So we're in a transformation now, where that's what's so beautiful about these discussions, where we can raise all kinds of things, and underneath all of our questions that we're raising, we do have a deep prayer for healing. We don't. You don't enjoy the anger, it flashes there and it raises a question like, oh, there it is again, I acknowledge it, I don't pretend that it's not there, but also I, I would like to know uh, what's at the bottom of that. If that's a choice, I would like to get more in touch with that and, and that's a deep journey.